Good morning, lovely students, and happy Sunday. In this video, we're going to start with the second paragraph in this module, People from the Past. You can find it in your student's book, page eight. I think it's in Books Weekly. It's kind of magazine or newspaper from the, the, the frame or the form of it. It's like a newspaper. Before starting with the reading text, let's revise some new vocabulary. Some of them were mentioned in the last video, but we have here many more so that we can make the paragraph easier for you to simplify the explanation of the reading text. I'm going to read the English term and you will have a look on the Arabic meaning so we can like share understanding. I pronounce the word, you look at the meaning, pause the video, repeat them again and again till you understand so that my famous word just go with the flow and just you, you won't face any obstacles understanding and following up with me. I'm going to start famous, poets, poetry, well-known, wealthy, opportunity, or it's opportunity. Both pronunciations are correct. Bersu, insisted on, self-thought, assistance of, figure, literature, honorary, Rulers, archaeologists, it's archaeologists, it's a singular, archaeologists, it's a plural. Tomb, superb, pharaoh, waned, mysterious, focused, adopted, and astronomy. Let's start with the introduction. There are many people who are still famous today because of what they did or who they were. Here are three that we at Books Weekly think are some of the most famous. I posted these pictures for you to look at them because I believe that picture worth, worth or like picture worth thousands worth or speaks a thousand words, uh, here we have two reasons that Books Weekly mentioned that why they are talking about these certain people and they think that they're some of the most famous because of two reasons. First, because what they did and second, who they were. I think there are a lot of people who lived and died in the past, but we mention these three people specifically because they must have done important things and they must have been a very successful people. Okay, let's start with the first personality in our reading text. Fatwa Tulkan, I think once you've heard the name, you figured out who's Fatwa Tulkan. I don't know, but you may have taken some balance written by Fatwa Tulkan in your Arabic subject. But anyways, let's start with our first famous person, Fatwa Tulkan. Fatwa Tulkan is one of the greatest poets of Palestine in the 19th century, born in Naples or Naples to a well-known wealthy family. Tulkan also carried the, the Jordanian nationality, even though she was not given the opportunity to pursue her education, she still insisted on studying and was self-taught with the assistance of her brother, Ibrahim Tulkan. She was considered a great figure of modern Arabic literature and received many awards, including the United Arab Emirates Award, 
1990 and the honorary the prize for poetry in 1996. She died in 2003. So, in general, if you want to talk about someone in the past, you mention where was she born, when was she born, but most importantly, what did she do? Fatwa Tukan, even she was a very uh, well-known, very like uh, a girl for a well-known wealthy family, but this is didn't prevent her from liking uh, to like to be an educated person. She wanted to pursue her education even though she wasn't given the chance to go to school or to go to college. And we all know that if you want to write poems in Arabic, you must be a very good speaker and writer of Arabic. I'm talking about the standard Arabic, Luha Fusha in poetry or in poems. So she worked hard on herself. She followed her dream to become a poet and nothing prevented her from doing so. She taught herself by herself. And this made her one of the greatest poets of Palestine and she received many awards because of that. So we we learn from Fadwa Tuqan that we should have we should not give up our dreams and nothing is impossible. The second well-known or famous personality is Tutankhamun or Tutankhamun. I think you're familiar with the name. Tutankhamun is one of the most famous rulers in history, but we know very little about his life. He became famous when the English archaeologist Howard Carter discovered his secret tomb in 1922. Inside the tomb, Carter found a superb collection of, of, of valuable objects. These included the impressive mask of Tutankhamun, as you can see in the picture, which is probably the most well-known object from ancient Egypt. Tutankhamun was only a boy when he became a pharaoh in ancient Egypt around 2,500 years ago. He reigned for only a few years and died very young. His death is mysterious. So, for me, I'm going to underline or to circle five reasons why Tut and Common deserves to be mentioned. He's a pharaoh. But first, his tomb was a secret. Ask yourself if you have a very important and valuable things. Do you let anyone look at them or anyone touch them? No, you don't let anyone touch them. So Tutankhamun was a very important ruler. This is why they hide him. And his tomb was a secret until 1922. Second, in his tomb, there were a valuable objects. So, an, um, only an important ruler or an important king had a very valuable objects in ancient Egypt at this time. The third reason, his impressive mask. As you can see, his mask is made of gold. So if you want to make someone or they made him a mask that is made of gold and if it, like a big impressive golden mask because he was important. And the fourth reason is that he was a pharaoh, pharaoh he's, he's a pharaoh, but the, the special thing about Tutankhamun is that he was a boy. We think that pharaohs must be old, mature, adult. No, here we have a young boy, but because he was, I think, clever, he was shrewd, he was a hard worker. They made him, or the ancient, or the Egyptian people made him their king, their ruler. He deserved to be a ruler because of his 
like intelligence. And the fifth one, for me, it's my interpretation. I guess his death is mysterious. If you watched National Geographic, uh, only till the moment they they don't know how uh, how did he die, whether he was sick or he was murdered, he was killed. They don't know. But I think good important people always being betrayed and being killed. This is why I think this reason can be added to the rest of the reasons that make Tutankhamun is a very famous personality. Till the moment, from 2,500 years ago till now, we're still talking about Tutankhamun and we know Tutankhamun. Okay, the last, not at least, is, okay, is Ibn Sina. We all know Ibn Sina once I like I, I looked at the picture, I know him, but if you don't know him from the picture, you can know him from the the name Ibn Sina or Avesna in English, was one of the most famous scientists. He was born around 980 CE, common era. It's like we will mention this uh, in Afshana in present day Uzbekistan. Uh, Uzbekistan. Call, you, you know, they used to call Uzbekistan Afshana, is an old name. Most of his written work focused mainly on philosophy and medicine. He is well known for writing scientific. Sorry, where were we? Known for writing scientific and philosophical encyclopedia called the Book of Healing, and he's considered the father of modern medicine. We know this is slogan, the father of modern medicine, Abu Tib. This encyclopedia was adopted as a medical textbook in many universities at that time. Ibn Sina's works also included writings on, let's count. First, astronomy. Second, psychology. Third, mathematics. Fourth, uh, physics. Fifth, poetry. And if you want to add philosophy and medicine, they be become seven fields. He wrote, he wrote things about seven fields. He did a lot of researches. He discovered a lot of things. The things that he wrote used to be taught in universities. So. They are very important information, very important things he discovered. So we must thank him because of the things that he had and things that he did and things that he discovered. Okay, uh, these are the, the three characters or the most famous people as uh, books weekly think and I think also they are very famous and they are very important and they deserve to be mentioned now. The main ideas of the text are, the text is talking about three of the most famous people from the past, including poet, a poet, Fadwa uh, Khan, a ruler, uh, Tutankhamun, and a scientist, Ibn Sina, telling that people with many achievements deserve to tell their stories in the present so we can learn from them. They are a role model for us. We must learn from them to be, to dream that one day we will be a famous people, a productive people like them so that magazines like Books Weekly will talk about us. And the third, indicating that there is not a certain field that someone can outstand. You have only to work hard and to be diligent. We're not talking about being a doctor or being an engineer or being a teacher. If you were, or a poet, or a ministry, or, a, sorry, um, a minister, or a scientist, you just have to work hard on yourself to do the best you can in this field and you will outstand you will success or you you will you will let people talk about you and learn from you this is the most important lesson for me and this is 
the end, I'm going to attach a link uh, to it's a home, uh, the Google form, as you know, a homework to make sure that you understood and you read the paragraph and you watched the video. Thank you so much and see you next time in a new interesting video.